Let's get to it. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again. And today we're going to be talking about when you should start considering mining different cryptocurrencies other than Ethereum. This question keeps coming up a lot, so we're going to try to cover it and give you guys the tools to do your own research to figure out what you should do with your mining farm and where you should point it. And just a couple ideas from yours truly. Before we get into it, Here's the sponsor for today. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. For my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATTACK at sign up for a 50% bonus. Okie doke, so let's just hop straight into it. You guys are mining Ethereum. More than likely, it is currently the most profitable coin, and therefore, in my humble opinion, you should mine the most profitable coin. In the event that it becomes less profitable for your given rig, depending on the type of GPUs you have, the price of another token or coin, and of course the difficulty on the network, you will maybe need to swap back and forth. There are a few different websites that you can utilize to go ahead and determine this, and that is gonna include things like what to mine, as well as Miner stat and then their hardware tab, but they're not always accurate either. For example, right now we do have a showing of basically Ravencoin being pretty much the second most profitable coin. However, that kind of changes when you start looking at the details. So if you take a look at mining pool stats, you can get start getting an idea of what's happening with everything, right? So the story of everything crypto. You can see here that we have a drop in price of Ethereum and the difficulty is slowly rising over time. And it's been a pretty consistent steady rise as more and more people get in. This isn't true for other coins. If we take a look at Ravencoin right now, sure, we do see it as being the second most profitable if we look on what to mine or miner stat. But the problem is this, look at this difficulty spike. So because a lot of people have been moving off of Ethereum and going to basically Ravencoin, what we see here is a huge difficulty spike. And with a huge difficulty spike, we're gonna basically see a reduction in the rewards you'll be able to gain because you're competing with other people on that specific network. So it's really important to take all of these things into account. That along with the price dip in Ravencoin means that it's not necessarily something that you should be trying to get into mining right now. And that's just taking all emotions out of the out of the equation, which is very important and I've talked about before. Now, finally, we also do have Conflux. Conflux can be a little bit difficult to sell though. So that's kind of the downside. But if you see here, we had a dip in price and then it kind of came back up and we did have a dip in difficulty. So if I was going to swap off of Ethereum because it becomes less profitable, I would probably look at something like Conflux. I would wanna see a chart that looks essentially like this, where the price is a little bit more stable and technically on the way up right now, sort of, right? We had that big dip and then it comes back up over here. And then the difficulty has gone down on the network. So when you are taking a look at what to mine and miner stat and those types of web websites, always remember that you need to get more information, including of course a price history, as well as a difficulty history. And what that's gonna be able to tell you is how committed are some miners to, of course, that coin, and then what is the price going to be averaged out for over, you know, at this point, a 24 hour volume in, in this particular case, and there's other places you can look at this. And then, of course, the difficulty is gonna determine how much competition is on the network, and if you're gonna be able to submit shares and actually get more crypto just based on the competition because no matter what at the end of the day you are going to have to deal with other miners having larger farms and being able to basically submit more shares than you so you want to make sure that you are taking that into account when deciding on a new coin now 
I don't want to get into the 1559 discussion currently. We still have a lot more things that we need to go over and fully understand as miners. I know that Bits is working on it as well as myself and all the rest of the mining community that was on the call yesterday. And we're going to get you guys some more information. What I would encourage you to do is remove the emotions from this and make sure that you are doing what's best for your rigs, yourself and your family. So my suggestion is always to mine the most profitable, try to protect whatever earnings you've made mining whether that be by swapping it to Bitcoin or into US dollar right away, everybody's situation is gonna be different and make sure that you aren't gonna basically starve. You don't wanna to get to the point to where, you know, you are just mining something else purely because you're upset with Ethereum or purely because you uh, really believe in a certain coin. If your rigs are paid off, right, and you want to spec mine, there's nothing wrong with that either. I have a couple of rigs that I spec, spec mine with, right? But typically for the farm, because I run it as a business, I'm trying to mine what's most profitable and then do my best to protect those earnings. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more, and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.